making it difficult for him to pull resources. Um, that means Jake is just going to have to be so cognizant of his positioning at all times. Yeah. And unless he's stopping Steve from getting the resources that he needs in this matchup particularly, it's going to be really good because the less resources, I'm sorry, Enderman has, the better and the more that you can take advantage. If you're stopping Enderman from getting things like diamond, diamond weapons or even iron weapons or even just anything that allows him to get the minecart or even the golden charged minecart, it's really good to just have that aggression. And Palatine is one of the characters that is able to do that with moves like neutral air and you can already immediately see Bunsai Fan making the attempt there. For sure, and now we're just seeing like Jake really starting to figure out that spacing. Look at that, they knew the exact range that they had to expect from Palutena. They were able just to walk past it and keep on mining. Uh, because, you know, of course the full hitbox does not come out fully. That time though, again, Jake is just so comfortable spacing around that explosive flame. Huge call out to Buntai Fan just basically saying, Hey, you can't get away with this move on me. You're gonna have to be a little bit more careful. Yeah. Alright. Once they found losing the first stock, forward smash to get rid of the blocks. Forward smash got a little bit of range. Not going to be able to hit Jake there, though. Jake with the immediate back air gets the opportunity there on the platform. No tech and he immediately sees the landing with the grab. No forwarder, but I still like the threat here. Definitely trying to take away as much as possible from Buntai Fan. For sure, and there it is. That's going to be the autogatical trying to interrupt it, but Buntai Fan has to stop committing to that explosive flame. You know, although that move is just so incredibly destroyed and then plus on block and everything, but you know, you with that move, you are a sitting duck. You just basically say, hey, hey, you know, jump over this. You can hit me with anything that you want. All right. Once I found on the stage, excellent patience there. We'll pay off with the back air, reading out the recovery. Still 80% on Buntai Fan. Nothing nothing short of a Palutena can be able to pull it back. Immediately with the dash attack, starting out the, um, the starting frames of what is going to be the minecart. Double forward air, triple forward air. Okay. The triple forward air. Yeah, no, Steve doesn't have way too many options in that situation. Uh, you know, to try to get out of that the best that he could have hopefully was trying to go for a double jump. And those are the interruptions that we're seeing now in the corner. The auto radical coming out, those explosive flames. Uh, uh, you know, Jake just doesn't have too much time to be able to pull resources. But using that block for coverage once again, so smart, uh, able to stop, um, you know, auto radical dead in the tracks. Yeah. I do like the fact that Buntafan is now accounting for the way that minecart is working, definitely punishing Jake after the minecart, but also respecting the fact that the one common option we've been seeing Jake go after minecart will either be a follow-up, a jump out of the minecart, and even a cross-up at times. Those are three things Buntafan has definitely started to absorb and definitely take consideration to. We just seeing right now, uh, Buntai can just play so patiently. You know, they understand that they have a stock lead, but you still can't be too comfortable oh. uh, passively camping Jake. That is going to be able to do it once again. Right now, finding that neutral this is going to be so big. Goes through the wrong neutral air, which is so smart to be able to extend it onto the Smashville platform and get every single last drop of damage. But while wow, Jake has diamond on deck, able to get that diamond sword and... Wow, Buntai Fan just has to perpetuate this advantage as long as possible because otherwise, uh, you know, we could we could be seeing huge damage from uh, from Jake. But and wow, oh. look at this! Has the weight? Uh oh, this could be big. Yeah, like you said, huge damage indeed, 55%. This is putting Buntai Fan in a pretty scary situation where if Buntai Fan is off stage, that back air that will definitely get a spike and it's not going to be into Buntai Fan's hopes. Uh, there's the mine car, Buntai Fan off the stage, 77. Jake is slowly making the climb. Great use of that opportunity there with the explosive flame stopping the cart, but also giving Buntai Fan the stage to land to as well. Yeah, uh, Buntai Fan, you know, like despite the fact that they got, you know, to a pretty slow start, they were able to clean up that game. They adjusted the spacing and timing of using auto radical and explosive flame. They were able to turn around from, you know, it being a habit where they more often than not got punished for it. Uh, mm -hmm. to a point where they just sort of really pressured Jake, made them feel uncomfortable sitting in the corner, not able to go for a lot of what they were looking for, um, and, and just not uh, able just to sort of play the game. You know, Steve uh, not getting his diamond out quickly, not able to always have gold on deck, or not always having like an indispensable source of iron can be so difficult, and they're still going to be sticking to Smashville, uh, which again, on such a small stage, Palutena is able to get, on, uh, get in on Steve quite easily. 
Yeah. The better, the faster and the better Palutena gets in on Steve, the better for her as a whole in the matchup. Because what's already started out at 0% has immediately progressed to 78. And with Ponte Fan immediately establishing control. Missed down tilt, but I do like the punish there. Getting the dash attack, immediately punishing Jake. Like I mentioned earlier, the Elytra only has a starting hitbox, and it won't last all the way through. Who goes for the auto medical, uh, but you know, Jake obviously can't be getting a punish from that position. Not really sure what they were going for. They were maybe just trying to smack away the uh, <laughs> the um, the crafting table there. Um, but you know, right now Jake is just looking for any sort of space. But on a stage like Smashville, you really can't get that. That time going for another neutral leg there. I think from that position it would have been probably optimal to go for another neutral leg, sort of uh, send them back towards the stage and be able to extend that. But I think in that moment, Buntai fan just wanted to prioritize stage control. Yeah. All right, Colony is looking for an opportunity. There is the explosive flame. I, that's the one thing I'm really liking here at the Ramgar. It's just the way that Buntai Fan is able to use the explosive flame, even understanding where the blocks are. It's not even a problem at all for Palatina. And it's been getting Buntai Fan a lot of wonders, even at that distance. Oh, tries to go for the counter. Jake is able to react, wait it out. Once again, giving themselves a bit of coverage. Uh, I would like to see them. I'm curious. Can they just try the explosive flame Jake through those blocks? <laughs> uh, you know, just completely ignoring the fact that there was a wall in between them. You know, just break those barriers and uh, and just hit him with it. I think that'd be interesting to see. I'm gonna play for the for the rar back air, but unfortunately, at the nick of the time, the crafting table actually spawned, and it looks like it was gonna be the one thing that actually saved Jake there. Still, nonetheless, I do like that Buntai Fan is now starting to punish that common option we've been seeing from Jake, and it's getting Buntai Fan such a strong lead here, but immediately Jake slowly turning things around. Unfortunately, Buntai Fan gets out of those combos, and there will be a back air and the stock taken. Yeah, that's going to be a Diamond Sword on deck. Still a good amount of Ireland for themselves. Right now, Jake just keeps on putting on those resources, and honestly, they're letting the Buntai Fan get back onto stage so often and not going for a lot of these ledge traps, which, you know, Obviously, you do want to be able to make sure you have all the tools for it, but down tilt at ledge really invalidates a lot of what Palutena wants. You could be going for like a two frame down smash. Um, I just want to be seeing Jake go through those because that is where Palutena is vulnerable. Yeah. And so far, Buntai Fan continues his control. Unfortunately, the missed back air. That's going to be pretty much the Buntai Fan's demise. And finally, Jake able to break in through with the minecart. But still, that's the one thing I'm always liking about Buntai Fan so far in this matchup. Not too far behind on punishing some of Jake's favorite options there. Even with the blocks there, you can see that Buntai Fan is looking to break through them and use auto reticle or even explosive flame. Back air will stop the minecart. And all the control here that Buntai Fan has, Jake has finally slowly broke through, looking to try to take center stage and mine out materials. Ooh, and that, from that position, you know, Jake just really just has to try to jump over the explosive flame and get into it as fast as possible. This could be so big. That F smash still almost taking it from across the stage at 60. Uh, oh, buddy. I don't know how to feel about that, but Palutena is going to be so big. That DI was mm, not amazing, but Jake's still able to live on uh, a little bit longer. That next one will definitely be able to do it. Going to be looking for that down tilt. Uh, Jake able to mix up his drift ever so slightly. Um, and wow, this is so dangerous. But now, uh, I really like the way that Buntai Fan is occupying the space, not letting Jake get to the command, uh, excuse me, to the crafting table. Can't get a throw out. Ooh. Yeah, that was a great play from Buntai Fan, stopping Jake before he can even get the crafting table. And even when he was around it, it was a great play to go for back air because you can also stop the minecart. Like I said, Buntai Fan had just pretty much built up a wall of back airs, understanding Jake's game plan, but also understanding Enderman as a whole, and once you immediately just dissect your opponent's favorite options, their tools, things that they feel comfortable with, you start to really put them on the back foot, and you can pretty much take this 2-0 just like Bunte Fan did. 